Hello everybody, it's I Luigi Big Mac and welcome back to Pizza Tower. Last time we've uh, uh, we pretty much cleared out the rest of the levels in uh, in the fourth world in the fourth floor here. Uh, we're we're we are now going to be uh, uh, fighting the, the fourth world boss. I wonder who it is. Wait a minute, isn't that me? I got a bad feeling about this. How am I fighting myself, huh? Oh. This is fake Pepino, folks. Ow. I'm restarting I'm restarting that. Uh so fake big pep fake Pepino. Uh this guy has a really detailed history also. <laughs> it's that easy! Uh, yeah, so this guy has a detailed history. Uh, he originally originated as an enemy that would occasionally chase, uh, chase you around. Uh, and then eventually he got moved to a level called simply known as Mansion. Uh, Mansion also had a detailed history as, uh, as Pepperman was originally planned. What, when Pepperman got originally scrapped as a boss, he was planned to show up at in the Mansion level, uh, where he'll chase you, where he'll chase you around. Also, I'm gonna focus on this part because this part is actually really. Uh, there we go. All right, let's see if I can do this. Oh, I'm just gonna go there, right there. There we go. Oh, come on, I pressed the taunt button. Yeah, uh, so, and then when when they decided to bring back Pepperman as a boss, they decided to put Fake Pepino into the mansion level. Uh, lore-wise, the reason why he was, uh, put into the man, uh, he was gonna be in the mansion level is because Pepperman sold the mansion thinking, he, uh, Fake Pepino was the real Pepino. Funny how that happens, huh? Anyway, the first phase of Fake Pepino is actually really easy. Uh, phase 2 is where it gets really difficult. And not, dif not difficult as in, uh, like, it's hard, but the patterns can kind of screw you over sometimes. As there's always going to be a, a big Fake Pepino uh, kind of messing around. There we go. Oop. Eh, whatever. Anyway, there's one more part to this boss fight. Now, run like hell. So, this part of the boss fight uh, got heavily changed. Uh, when the game originally came out, uh, Fake Pet Peter would just rubber band and just uh, catch up almost immediately. Uh, they then made it where you could just, if you really wanted to, you could just walk like that through the entire thing. And Pepino would, or Fake Pet Peter would never uh, catch up to you because uh, you're programmed to go your speed. Now, if you get hit by Fake Pepino in this phase, he deals two damage rather than one. So it's best to... Uh... So it's best to just go as fast as you can. They, they did adjust the uh, the layout of the escape to make it a bit more easier to just run through. But other than other than that, that's Fake Pepino. Uh, that, uh, an enemy... That, uh, care, uh, an enemy that was originally supposed to be in the mansion level that'll chase you around, who got, who later got turned into a boss. In fact, uh, McPig wanted to keep this boss a secret for so long that he just created other, other various bosses just to fool people into thinking that's the fourth world boss. Like Mr. Stick was, was rumored to be a boss at some point. Like there was an arena made for him. 
there was even a ball. One of the balls, but one of the balls is that McPig made on the stream because he did stream uh, him working on the game. One of the balls that he made was literally just fighting a bee. That's it, and you can still access the room and everything. And like the way the ball fight is supposed to work, you're supposed to like step on a button that's supposed to spray like pests, like a uh, like a bug spray or something like that. It it was like if that was the fourth world boss, that would have been fucking hilarious because you're just fighting the bee. Well, now I have to go S rank. Uh... Well, now I have to go S rank. <laughs> Pick between all my uh, all my regular save file because I think he's still at. I think he's still an A for me. But yeah, well, that's that. Let's just uh, move on to the to the fifth section. Anyway, here's World 5. Now, let's, uh... Uh, what outfit do we not use yet? We have, we have pizza 1. And uh, we're, saving, we're saving that one for last. Let's just go back to Classic Peppino for now. Oh, the minor jump scare. Some of the pizza scared. This is the other level I was mostly familiar with. And that just and that's just because uh, this level was used in, in a demo. Specifically the noises Halloween demo. Where you play as a noise and go through a harder version of Pizza's game. And then I think they decided to make this love make this an actual level. Although Ozzy's layout is changed compared to Pizza's game. I think this is a really fun level that has some really unique gimmicks. Now, there is an achievement to avoid every single one of these assholes uh, trapped here. Yes. For someone who's trying to, uh... For someone who's trying to, uh, mess with you, you do a terrible job. As he's more of a help to you than, uh, than a detriment sometimes. There we go. <laughs> I also love the bad, the, the, uh, the, uh, the bad, the bad goblin's, uh, faces when you're running at Mach speed. <laughs> it, it always never ceases to, to make me laugh. Yep. Now, every now and then, uh, that ghost will get stuck in the TV. Uh, you gotta watch out for the P-Turks, uh, there. Anyway, we're gonna continue on, uh, through here. But, yeah. Uh, I, I remember in the, uh... I remember in the original take for this Let's Play. In the original take for this Let's Play, I actually ended up dying to, uh, to Pizza Face, uh, on this level. Because, uh, because, uh, I was taking too long to, to get the treasure because they, because they put Jerome in a very, uh, very simple spot. Uh, ever since I recorded that, they actually since changed the, made, well, he's still in the same spot, but he's, but he's now, uh, no long, but he's now a lot more easier to, to get. Like, you're, you, you now are, like, you now just confidently grab the room without, uh, without breaking the sweat. Oh, Mr. Sausage. Mr. Oh, 
Also, if you, if you run fast enough, you can just avoid that, all, that guy's and all that guy's trap. Which is actually kind of funny, if you think about it. Uh, that one's a mean one right there. Wait, there's no- wait, there's no way I did that. There's no way I did that. Got that achievement. On this Let's Play. Stay about it. I did- I- Cause, there, like I said, there's an achievement, uh, to avoid every single one of the guys, uh, damaging traps. And, uh, I think I might have done it. It's hard to say right now, but... Alright, get out of here. Also, uh, Gustavo is actually replaced with Rick Ray with Gustavo's clothes. So, that's a neat thing right there. Uh, anyway, we got achievement for killing, uh, I think there's like a certain amount of ghosts, uh, ghost shit you can just kill. Anyway, let's just get out of here. that. Anyway, right here now, so now you actually have to go this way. Alright, we're gonna wait for this guy to kick us through here, because that's where another secret is. Now, the secret music for this stage is used the same one as Peace Escape, which Makes sense, mainly because he uses the same melody uh, as Peace Escape. Anyway, Jerome is right here. So they definitely made him e easier to get uh, grab now. Which is something I can appreciate. Anyway. Alrighty. Now, the tricky part is actually, uh, getting to your own store, which is actually... Okay, uh, the game will let me fall down real quick. There we go. So, this part, you're going to want to slow down and then move forward. There we go. Now, now I have plenty more time, unlike the, unlike the, the original, uh... Recording, which is very interesting to say for the very least. And then the uh, the last secret is actually above right here. Yeah, if you haven't gotten the uh, the ghost killing achievement at this point, you would have gotten it. Uh, you would have gotten it right here at that at this moment, or during this secret because you. Uh, Anyway, I'm not gonna go for a second lap. And yeah, I got the achievement. Wow. Great, great. Now that's the second thing I have to do do on my uh, personal save file. Uh, S S rank. Uh, S rank. Uh, what do you, what's his name? Uh, S rank fake Pepino and uh, get that. Uh, Cheap, cheap. Anyway, we're gonna change our outfit one last time to the pizza outfit. Uh, now, for the rest of your, uh, now, forever in your save file, uh, Gustavo and Brick will be in four or five. They'll look terrified and tell you what, what closer to them, and and those two will just look at you like, "Come on, man, we're not scared." Uh, the vigilante's up here thinking. Anyway, here's our next level. This is up there as one of my favorite levels, just because it's, it has really good theming. Wow. 
so so the way so the way this level works is that uh if you do not kill the uh the guards fast enough they will sound an alarm call it in front of them they'll sound an alarm now if you now if i were to sound an alarm for this one uh in this room it wouldn't really uh matter too much but uh in, the, in this next room i'm gonna do it real quick uh there's an achievement to uh not uh there's an achievement to not uh, activate the alarm for more than six times which obviously i'm going to fail because i'm trying to do all the things uh there's also another achievement to not get jump scared because if you, if, you, if you don't know what this what this thing is referencing, it's referencing uh oh, there it is. It's referencing uh Five Nights Five Nights at Fre uh Five Nights at Freddy's there. I unfortunately was not able to uh get down fast enough, so I got jump scared there. So yeah, there goes that achievement, which I, I already got the achievement on my uh personal file anyway, so I'm not too concerned about them uh, missing out on it. Anyway, so, uh, so Mushroom Guy, he, he just kind of walks forward, but he's too tall, so you can't really, uh, yeah. Uh, so he can't really reach you in, uh, very small places. Anyway, let's move on to this section, where we no longer have to deal with Mushroom Guy, but we now have to deal with another, uh, another asshole. Uh, this is the cheese guy. Uh, he's... Uh, hold up. Here he is. Oops, shit. There we go. Well, I'm not going back to kill that guy. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Uh, so there was originally a level called Kids Party. Uh, that would have done the Fun Ice Party, uh... Uh, gimmick. And the way that level would have worked was that, uh... The way that level would have worked... Is that, uh... The, uh, topping monsters will only spawn when you grab... When you grab a, a specific topping of... Of that monster. And, uh... Yep. And the gimmick with the, uh... With the cheese monster is that, uh... He, he'll, uh, hop on the roof then go. And I forgot to jump because I was a moron. Yeah, if you just take your time right here, you don't have to worry about getting jump scared by him. Just be sure to actually climb up the walls. Uh, unlike what, unlike, uh, unlike me, who bonked into the wall and got jump scared immediately. Uh, every time you get jump scared, you get turned into Pesino. Which is an animatronic version of uh, Pepino, and you lose points. So if you're trying to go for for S rank, it's best to just try and avoid uh, getting jump scared as uh, much as possible. Now I'm not going to go for S rank for this level because I haven't come because I, I did not get S rank yet at all. So there's no point for me to go for it, really. But yeah, uh, there is a very now, speaking of jump scares, there there is a very rare jump scare that can pop up. I highly doubt I'll ever, I don't think I'm going to get it this let's play. Because, like I said, it is rare. But there's a rare. Step. Who did I not kill? Well, I guess. Well, bad news. I'm just getting jump scares uh, up the wazoo. Good news is, at least at least I'm showing off all the jump scares. And, uh, yep, and before I move on uh, with what I was talking about earlier, uh, I am, I am good at this game. This, I'm usually never this bad at, at the level. I don't, I don't know how, uh, die. Yeah, so, uh,
Yep. Uh, anyway, uh, there's a very rare jump scare. Uh, where... Where, rather than having a red background, I have a green background. And instead of, uh, the... And, and instead of the popping monster, uh, spooking ya, uh, it'll be Pepino, the, uh, mushroom topping monster, uh, celebrating Oktoberfest while the, uh, while the mushroom topping monster is climbing a mountain. Oh, I forgot to mention uh, how the, uh, tomato topping monster works. Uh, he'll, he'll just face her wall. That's his, that's kind of his, that's kind of his thing. Uh, now for, uh, now for the, uh, now for the, uh, Salsa, Salsa guy, he will, uh, well, uh, he'll just, he, he's similar to the mushroom one where he can only chase you, but he's really fast. The mushroom and the, uh, yep, I'm a moron. Well, well, at least I get to show, well, at least I get to show off the, uh, his jump scare, and there's one more jump scare. And I, you, I probably won't be able to show it all. Man, I'm sucking balls this level. Okay, go over here. Lure him over here. Come down here. This time, go down the ladder like an actual smart boy. And, uh, run like hell. Because this guy is, uh, really fast. Okay. Woo. Now all of them are here. Now time to run like hell. And I always forget to jump up the ladder for that part. Now don't forget to grab Jerome. You won't be able to if you miss him. You won't be able to grab him unless you want, you feel like backtracking. Even then, I don't, actually no, you can't even backtrack at this rate. Yeah. Anyway. How do you guys feel about shotguns? I fucking love shotguns. Uh, firstly, you could just you could just give me a Winchester, uh, like the like the one seen in like Terminator, with the uh, uh, with the with like the with the lever action. Yep. Anyway. Shotgun, you can kill uh you can kill all the uh top monsters. Including the pineapple one. The pineapple one doesn't really have a jump scare. He you oh, he does have a jump scare bound. But I think if you get jump scared by any of the uh top monsters here. If you get jump scared by any of the uh, top monsters uh during the uh game, I think you still get their regular uh, jump scare. Yeah, considering the amount of times I got jump scared this uh, this episode, I won't be going for S rank, which which is fine. Again, I'm not going for all the S ranks. I am going for all the secrets, but uh, I'm I am going for all the secrets now because uh, because because uh, I've been getting every single secret in uh, in the rest of the level, so I might as well go for them now. God damn it. All right, we're gonna wait for him to break these. Fuck you. Get out of here. Die. And there's a achievement for, there is a achievement for killing every single popping monster with, with a shotgun. And let's just, let's just run out of here. Alrighty. So before we do the final level, uh, I'm gonna backtrack to uh, I'm gonna backtrack to world to floor three so we can uh, get that secret we're missing from uh, from Gnome Forest. So I'm gonna I'm gonna jump cut to the 
I'm, so I'm, I'm gonna jump cut to the spot uh, where I missed the uh, secret. So, I'll see you guys then. Alrighty, guys, I'm back. And here's the secret I missed. It had an eye on it and everything. Okay, and then from here, we're probably just gonna, I'm probably just gonna complete the rest of the level as I'm gonna try and. Uh, I missed the guy. Oh well. I'm gonna try and go for. Uh, see if I can try and get S rank in this, in this level. Just for, just for funsies. Just, just the style since I'm replaying this level again, so I might as well go for it. I mean, after all, if it, if I didn't have all the, uh... If I didn't have all the... I'm having a lot of trouble with the wall building today. There we go. I thought I walked up there. There we go. Alright, we got it. We got to move like now. Okay, okay, we're right, we're right here. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, by the time we uh, complete this level, yeah, uh, with the second lap included, uh, it'll probably be the end of the episode if, uh, if, I, if I'm doing my math correctly. Did I not have a right? Alrighty then. Let's skedaddle and skadoodle before Dick becomes a doodle. Alrighty. Mini John! Get the treasure again. Not because not because I forgot the last time, but if we're going for S rank, we're gonna need it for its points. Back to the uh and we just have to go down that uh, the other secret. Ooh, we might not get S ray. I don't think we got it. That's a damn shame. 
Yeah, we didn't get it. Damn. Oh well. At, le at least we got at least we got all the secrets this time. At least we got all the secrets. Alrighty then. Well, unfortunately, folks, that's it for today's episode. If you guys enjoy the content that I do, please consider subscribing. As as uh, it'll not only help my channel grow, but uh, not not only it will help my channel grow, but it also it will also tell YouTube to uh, the YouTube algorithm to recommend my videos to more people, which is something I can appreciate because no one really watches my content other than like close friends. Uh, with that be with that being said, I hope you have a good day, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to be doing the final level of the game and beat up the final boss of the game. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.